Hello, welcome to this week's Ilan Connect. This week we're looking at the work of Pascal Unger. Pascal was on residence uh, in Ilan just before we shut. Uh, Pascal is originally from West Cork and is interested in areas of the, the landscape where the urban and the natural environment meet. Uh, so kind of uh, infrastructures dispersed uh, within the natural environment, like you've seen in the paintings that I showed. Uh, he also works uh, with other media like uh, video and photography. Um, so we're going to uh, use the ideas behind his work and we're going to create uh, a, a little landscape ourselves. So what you want to do is you want to start with a piece of uh, long cardboard, like a little rectangle, and we're going to make it into a building. So what you can do is if you fold your cardboard in half, and then if you fold it in half again, and then if you fold it out, you will get, you can fold it in and you can get your building. So the next thing we want to do is put the openings into our building. Uh, so you can draw in windows or doors or just gaps in your building. Um, I've taken inspiration loosely off one of Pascal's paintings that I showed you at the start. So you can take inspiration from that or you can make up your own design. So I've put my building on a piece of uh, long cardboard because I'm going to keep this as my setting for my building. Uh, that's where I'm going to put all my uh, environment when I have my building done. And I like the idea that if I paint on the cardboard, then the paint is going to seep into the environment. Uh, because a lot of the ideas that uh, Pascal works with is this idea that these infrastructures kind of pollute the environment around them. And that's one of the reasons why he uses uh, artificial colours as well. It kind of highlights the strangeness of these buildings in this uh, in these uh, natural environments. So I've just got a little uh, watercolor palette that I'm gonna to use to paint, but you can use uh, whatever uh, paint that you have at home. So what I've done there is I've uh, wet my whole building. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my colors uh, directly onto that. And it will kind of drip down the building and soak into it. Um, now, if you don't have, um, paint you could always use food coloring and if you don't have either of them then just use what other colors you have markers or pencils or anything like that um so again i'm basing this off uh, pascal's painting and so he uses kind of uh, pinks and reds a lot so he said he liked the idea of um red because it kind of reminds him of blood and kind of this idea of infecting the landscape and he also uses like pinks and kind of a uh, feminine type colors because buildings are usually these kind of strong uh, infrastructure buildings are usually kind of considered masculine so he kind of likes to introduce uh, pinks and reds as these kind of feminine colors to, to contrast with that and as I said these colors uh, are kind of strange you wouldn't you wouldn't normally see them on buildings or in a natural landscape. So again, it highlights the strangeness um, of these buildings in the landscape. Okay, so here is our building uh, on the cardboard. And I just have a word of warning not to um, wet the cardboard too much, um, or it can kind of become damp and a little bit unsteady. Uh, to do the splatters on the ground, you can just put your paintbrush there and you can just lightly hit your uh, paintbrush like that. And you can do as much splatters as you want. Um, and if you want, you can do some after we put the uh, natural materials on it also. So here we have our building in the landscape. Um, for the trees, I just put a little uh, hole in the cardboard and I found some branches and placed them in it. I tried not to pick any branches off actual trees, just found them in the ground. Uh, I got a little bit of soil from the ground and uh, some little bits of uh, debris and I painted the cardboard and I did some pink splashes coming into my cardboard as well um, to show how it kind of infects the landscape. So if you do make a creation, uh, do share it with us. Uh, we would love to see them. And I'll see you next week.